Okay, a uh, quick update on this uh, Garmin Translator app that I've been kind of working on, on and off. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, my previous video, uh, it's basically just an application that runs kind of parallel to the uh, Stratix software. Uh, so you can uh, turn on the uh, simulator uh, functionality in, in Garmin and see the, uh, the attitude and uh, traffic uh, and GPS position from your... Uh, uh, from your Stratix, uh, what that application is doing is just translating the uh, the web sockets uh, that the Stratix software provides into uh, the Xplane format that uh, that Garmin can understand because Dar Garmin doesn't support uh, you know the raw uh, data stream that's being sent from the Stratix. But this is a, a way around it. Uh, setting this up is a little quirky. Uh, you have to first go into uh, if I can get this aligned here at home. Uh, then you got to go into settings and flight simulation and uh, turn that on you can see it's receiving data uh, one other thing that you need to do which is kind of weird uh, you need to go into general and then uh, down uh, here there will be uh, uh, normally uh, this traffic alerts unless you have something that Garmin supports that uh, middle slider toggle thing uh, is disabled but uh, because it knows that it's receiving traffic from the uh, simulator it enables it so you can turn that on so you need to go back to the uh, map and down in here you need to turn on traffic you can see I've already turned it on that won't be available until you do that stuff in the settings, which is kind of weird, but uh, it does work. So you can see uh, that I've got some uh, uh, simulated uh, traffic here that's uh, 1,300 feet uh, above me and kind of up to the north uh, northeast. Uh, all that is is a, uh, a simulator application that I have running that just... Uh, uh, puts uh, fake traffic and a, a fake uh, AHARS position and uh, fake GPS position uh, just for testing. That way I don't have to have the, the real McCoy. I can leave that in the plane. So uh, uh, here you can see the what I'm doing on that application is I'm just changing the uh, uh, GPS position that the traffic is at. And then uh, here I'm... Uh, slowly increasing the altitude and you can see it's increasing there and as well as the heading right now it's 296 and I'm just holding it holding down this little spin box and it's uh, decreasing the heading and now it's at uh, 239 so you can see it supports all the the, the basic inf uh, traffic information and the uh, AHARS information uh, I, I kind of showed this in the previous uh, video where I was messing around with the the pitch and roll uh, you can uh, and again this is just from the simulator it's just simulating what would be coming from the uh, the translator app uh, that's installed on the Stratix so I'm just playing with the pitch and, and roll here so you can see that it uh, that it actually does uh, obey what I'm doing uh, and as well as the heading here so I'm just kinda holding down the heading to change it um, so I, I think that's as far as I can go with, with this translator app. Uh, I mean, it would be really nice if Garmin just kind of natively supported it. Uh, this is a usable workaround if you're in love with the Garmin Pilot. Uh, I don't uh, believe there's any way of doing the weather. Uh, if uh, if X-Plane has a protocol for sending weather to Garmin that... Uh, um, that Garmin actually supports, I'd uh, love to know about it because uh, as far as I know there's just no way of, of doing that. But uh, if you just want to get traffic and, and AHARs from your uh, from your Stratix, this is a usable solution. So this is available right now on uh, GitHub. Uh, uh, I haven't made executables or anything uh, available yet. If you uh, you know, if you're interested, uh, let me know. And, you know, if there's enough people uh, interested in this sort of thing to, to make it work with the Garmin Pilot, uh, I can uh, whip up some uh, some instructions and uh, 
uh, and just make a pre-built executable that you just put on your Stratix and, and away you go. But uh, yeah, uh, this is there and uh, uh, that uh, uh, Roscoe application, which is kind of this half of uh, of Garmin Pilot without all, all the, the fancy rest of everything that it does. It's just an AHARS and traffic information display uh, that uh, talks directly to the Stratix. So if you're interested in either of those, uh, uh, let me know. And if there's enough interest, I'll make uh, uh, simpler uh, uh, install instructions and uh, you know uh, binaries available. So uh, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.